when most people think about sourcing their products to sell, uh, whether that's on Amazon, Shopify, eBay, whatever it may be, they think immediately of going to China. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why you should reconsider that and instead start sourcing from India. Let's get into it. Uh, did you see that India and Australia signed a huge trade um, deal called the AUKUS, I think, um, trade pact? Uh, basically, what that meant was that, as we know, Australia is trying to move away from reliance upon China, which I think is smart. Uh, and so they're looking to do deals with other countries. India is one of their biggest trading partners historically anyway. And so now they've actually looked to formalize that by signing a free trade agreement between the two countries, meaning to export from Australia into India is now cheaper to do because the tariffs that w were there have been removed. Uh, and vice versa, to import from India into Australia is now cheaper because the tariffs that were present to bring products from India into Australia have now been removed, okay? So very, very interesting. So what does that mean? Well, it means that for a lot of things now, it's actually cheaper to source them from India instead of going to China. That's what that means, okay? Add to that as well, let me show you this. Um, if you look at the shipping costs to get a full container load, uh, 20 foot container load from, um, let's say, Guangzhou in China into Australia, you're looking at around about, depending on the day, around about nine to eleven thousand dollars, Aussie dollars, okay? Uh, but if you want to do the same container load from India, from say um, uh, Mumbai or something like that, the port of Mumbai into Australia, into, into Sydney, it's about half the cost, okay? So not only is it now cheaper um, with easing of tariffs between the two country, but it's also historically much, much cheaper from shipping as well, okay? So it's a double whammy, which is really, really cool. The other thing as well, which I think is really important to mention, is that um, in India, business is conducted in English. So the majority of business happens in English in India, uh, unlike China, for instance. So if you're going to talk to somebody in India, you're going to talk to them in your own language, which may or may not be important to you. And finally, uh, India is very, very good at certain, like textiles, for instance, rubber products, for instance, some wooden products, for instance. They do them at a world-class level, at an absolute world-class level. So there's some things in India that the quality is just significantly better than anywhere else in the world because they've got access to the, um, um, the technicians, the resources, and things like that. So for all those reasons, I think it's a really good idea if you haven't been looking at India to start looking at India to source from. I know uh, Kathy Lloyd, who's currently in Bali, uh, she's planning to do a sourcing trip to India. I know that uh, a little while ago, there was government grants available, I don't know if they still are, um, to go sourcing products in India. There was a grant available, they could, they'd pay your airfare and your hotel fees to go over there, for instance. Uh, I think that was a couple of years ago. I don't know if, still, if that's still available. I know it was available, okay? And your last question is probably gonna be, where should you source? Trade India is very, very good. So Trade India is like Alibaba for Indian products. And if I source, this is one of the places I start looking at is on Trade India, okay? The other one as well, which is really, really good, but um, is Global Sources. But... Um, with glo in my experience, Global Sources is amazing for finding larger factories, okay? So if I'm looking to scale my production uh, and the current factory I'm using can no longer handle the production capacity that I'm looking for, 
I'll go look at global sources to find my next factory, for instance. Okay, so I don't know that it's always the case that that um, they have bigger factories, but certainly when I'm looking for a bigger factory, I go to global sources. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q and A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are a community of over two and a half thousand Australian uh, e-commerce professionals who sell things on Amazon, Shopify, eBay, uh, and our own, of course, websites as well. Now, if you'd like to find out more about what we do uh, with sales of over $50 million, you may want to come along and check out www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au to find out more and join us. With that being said, I'll see you in the next time.